come and have a look. It's well worth a look, especially if you're a Teletubby. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is me again, Lily from Swift Comply, co-organizing partner of the European Fox Summit in Brighton on the 14th of October. So when planning the networking activities prior to the European Fox Summit, Steve Williams from Southern Water, also co-organizing partner, uh, came with a brilliant idea uh, to organize a guided tour at the Peacehaven Wastewater Works. Hey Steve, welcome back again. Hey Lily, thanks for inviting me again. How are you? Oh, good. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. Um, so from what you told me before, um, Peace Haven is so much more than just a lookalike of the Teletubby Hills. Um, can you walk us through the story behind th this facility? Yes, of course I can, Lily. The, uh, the Peace Haven Wastewater Treatment Works came about because we had a need in Southern Waters to deal with all of the wastewater and some of the surface water from Hove in the west um, through Brighton, um, through Ovingdean, Rottingdean, Woodingdean, um, into Saltdean, Telscombe Cliffs and Peacehaven. So there's a long stretch of coastal conurbation that needed their wastewater taken away and treated effectively. Um, so Southern Water came up with a 300 million pound plan to provide a brand new state-of-the-art facility um, away from all of those built-up areas uh, nestled in the South Downs Country Park where it was out of sight from everybody um, covered in Europe's largest green roof um, which is why it looks like a Teletubby house um, because you can't see it from the road uh, and when you stand on the downs you're looking down on a nice green roof um, it's an amazing facility uh, and it takes all of the wastewater and some of the surface water runoff from all of those built up areas and especially the city of Brighton and Hove where we're holding in the uh, Polk Summit this year. So um, the project began in July 2009 and continued through until October 2013. So it took just over four years to build. That's the actual build obviously there was planning and consultation before that. So the facility was built in those four years to a very high standard, considering all of the environmental factors. So before we built it, we consulted with the foxes and the rabbits, asked them if it was okay. Um, we liaised with the Environment Agency and Natural England to consider the protection of the reptiles up there. So the frogs, the newts and the snakes. We also considered the natural flora up there, the perhaps protected flower species, uh, and obviously the insect species up there as well, the butterflies, moths and beetles, etc. So everything was done with environmental consultation. We've done it all properly, all built into the South Downs to protect the views, both towards the hills and towards the sea, so that it doesn't obscure any landscape and doesn't block any skyline. Um, and in doing that, um, Southern Water got involved in the Cleaner Seas for Sussex, um, which is a major project to clean up the beaches along the south coast. Uh, and we were recognised for a number of awards for this uh, build at Peace Haven Lily. Can I tell you about them? Yeah, 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 for sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, we won the major civil engineering project of the year that year from the British Construction Industry Awards. We also received the Institute of Civil Engineers Award, the Brassy Award for the project. And we won the Royal Town Planning Institute Award that year for the Southeast Planning Award of the year. So it was an amazing project, beautifully considered for the environment and built to a very, very high specification. Um, so we've done it with all good intent to protect the environment. And we've obviously got some of that environment living on our roof. Yes, Mother Nature is so grateful for that. <laughs> um, and it's also a big recognition uh, to receive all these awards. It's fantastic. Um, so I 
Uh, I remember. So there's uh, the environmental aspect, uh, the the aesthetic, uh, the natural aesthetic as aspect, uh, the green roof. Um, this is amazing. This is impressive, uh, Steve. Um, so this will be a unique opportunity for attendees of the European Fox Summit to visit the plant. It will, because um, if you consider the size of it, it's the size of a sports stadium or a football stadium. Uh, and it's hidden from view under our wonderfully large green roof. So if you don't come for any other reason, come to see that green roof it is massively impressive. But also there are other aspects that you should be aware of, which are to feed this new treatment works. We had to build a new storm tunnel right away along the coast from Hove, most of the way to Peace Haven. It's an 11 kilometer tunnel. Um, that you can drive a double-decker bus through um, and it is between 8 metres and in some cases 40 metres underground. We would love to take you down there and show you that. However, if it did start raining because of the rainfall off of the South Downs uh, and all the surface area we've got covered, that would fill up in about 8 to 10 minutes. So much as we'd love to take you down there, we can't afford all the uh, scuba diving equipment for everybody. No. <laughs> but what this uh, all does is blend everything we've done into the environment. You can't see it on the tunnel on the beach. You can't see the pumping stations. Um, in fact, as you drive along the coast from Brighton to Peacehaven, you will pass one of our pumping stations on an island in the middle of the road. And you'll just drive past it you'll think it's just a building uh, in the middle of the road when it is a natural fact one of our pumping stations that pumps a massive amount of wastewater towards the uh, peace open treatment works the treatment works itself um, pumps effluent through at an amazing two and a half thousand liters per second so there are three pumps pumping two and a half thousand liters per second so if you stood there and counted for 10 seconds, that's 25,000 litres of water just passed in front of you in that 10 seconds. So that's 25,000 cubic metres of water, um, or 25 IBCs in one second. It's an impressive pump forward rate, and we treat all of that water easily within the wastewater treatment plant at Peace uh, and when we returned it to the environment, we built a two and a half thousand metre or two and a half kilometre long sea outfall to take the effectively clean water away from the coast so that it can't affect anything close into the coastline. Nobody will know it's there. Uh, and our effluent, which is monitored by the Environment Agency, goes straight out into the sea, um, return to the environment nearly as clean as when we got it. Wow, this is like state of the art technology when it comes to wastewater treatment uh, and it's completely hidden under uh, the beautiful landscape of the southern, um, the southern uh, uh, coast actually. Fantastic to hear this from you, uh, Stephen. Um, so uh, thank you so much. Um, I would say let's uh, meet on 13 October in Peacehaven. Um, if you haven't done so, go to swiftcomply.co.uk slash Foxomit, register your attendance there and make sure to opt in for the networking activities. It's completely free, uh, free of charge uh, for the Peacehaven uh, visit. Um, so Steve, thank you so much again and uh, see you on 13 October. It'd be great to see you and everybody else on the 13th of October because they're, as you've highlighted, a real opportunity to network on the day before the Fog Summit. Uh, and there's an opportunity to come and network out of Brighton and Ho on the South Downs. We hope it's going to be a nice day. We have booked one for you. Um, come and see the Peacehaven Wastewater Treatment Works uh, and network away from the environment, the city environment out in the country. It'd be great to see everybody. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you, Lily. See you Bye in October. Now. Bye, Steve.